What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. I want to talk about um, Tunde Ajayi for a few minutes, Anthony Yard's trainer, who in the aftermath of this loss has come under um, a lot of stick, a, a lot of stick. Um, I expected some just because of how outlandish she is, right? I mean, you can't speak that way and then lose and expect to get nothing. It's not going to happen. I mean, can you imagine if Floyd Mayweather ever lost? The way he speaks, oh my God, we would have crucified him. So I expected some, but maybe not as much as what's come. And not just from us, the general public, I'm talking about from boxing people. Paul Smith, former world title challenger and British champion, went as far as to call him a fraud. A bit harsh. I mean, look, I get that you might not like someone's personality, someone's training style and technique, but to call him a fraud... I think you're. I think you've gone too far. I think that's below the belt. He even said something along the lines of, um, "What did he say? That all Tunde cares about is his social media presence." I mean, what has Tunde done to fucking Paul Smith? He must have done something. There must be some history there that we don't know about because I don't think Tunde's a fraud, right? Um, Tunde made some mistakes. Um, he was always going to make mistakes. I said this on my preview video. I said um, there's inexperience in that corner. A lot of inexperience. When the going gets tough, how is Tunde going to adapt? I said, you can't prepare for that. I even likened it to um, taking penalties in football training and then taking them in a World Cup final or a Champions League final. It's a completely different kettle of fish. Where does that phrase come from, kettle of fish? But it's a completely different thing, right? And I said he's going to struggle, and, and we saw that, right? You listen to the advice of an experienced corner man like Buddy McGirt, who said, look, I'm going to pull you out just to kind of ramp up Kovalev and listen to the advice of Tunde and it was almost light and day, right? Almost non-existent. That was always going to happen. That doesn't make him a fraud for me. That just means for me that he's inexperienced. That's all it is, I, I think. At the highest level, he's inexperienced. I know some people maybe will compare it to um, a Ben Davidson, maybe, right? Ben Davidson, obviously, again, an inexperienced trainer um, who took Tyson Fury to Deontay Wilder fight and seemed to handle the pressure of that. Let's not forget, in that corner, although he was the one speaking, was Freddie Roach and Ricky Hatton. So there was a lot of experience in that camp regardless. But um, I expected uh, Tunde not to crumble, but I expected him to struggle at the highest level. And that is the highest level. That's the pressure cooker of boxing. And he doesn't have enough experience to get him through that pressure cooker yet. That, however, doesn't make him a fraud. I also said in that video that boxing, like life in general really, is about fine margins, right? Fine margins. If Anthony Yard had stopped Kovalev in that eighth round, and he was only about two or three punches away from stopping him, by the way, only about two or three punches away, then the story is completely different. There's no fraud talk, there's no hate, no one's giving him stick online. It then becomes an excellent performance, right? Because the way I look at it, it almost looks like this is a guy that was easing himself into the fight, right? Which would have been advice that you would have given someone that's not had a fight on a big stage before. Just, you know, see yourself through the first six rounds and then let's start turning up the heat. And that's what he kind of did. He saw himself through the very first six rounds. I mean, Kovalev wasn't landing much, let's be honest. And then from round seven to eight, he turned up the heat. Then he didn't have enough experience to get the job done. I mean, that could have been a perfect performance. You know, people might say, oh, he lost the first six rounds, but it wasn't like he was getting beaten up and lost the first six rounds. He lost the first six rounds just because, again, maybe that was a game plan. I don't know. There has been some suggestions as well uh, that Anthony Yard should leave Tunde, right? That people have seen enough potential in Anthony Yard and with a better trainer fixing some of the things that he didn't do yesterday that maybe they think Tunde can't fix, Anthony Yard can go all the way. I don't know. I don't know. Um... I'll say that whatever potential you saw in Anthony Yard was what Tunde put there, right? So Tunde's done enough to make him look good enough yesterday for you to say he's got potential, if that makes any sense. Remember, Anthony Yard came out of the amateurs with 12 amateur fights. Um, he didn't have any big promoter or any big trainer knocking his door down, right? He, he didn't. Tunde took him on and added whatever you saw yesterday into him. That, that's fact, right? You're not going to get that kind of shoulder roll and that good lateral movement and all that kind of effective stuff that he did. He did some effective stuff yesterday after 12 amateur fights. Tunde has instilled that into him, right? Tunde just needs to take his ego out of his ass and add more stuff to him. Sparring and a jab. We're not talking that much, right? Tunde can do that. Let's be honest, he can do that. He can add a jab to him, he can. And he can give him fucking effective sparring. 
two of the most basic principles in boxing. Sparring, you need, and a jab. He gives them those two things, and I think that's kind of it really, right? Gives them those two things, he can go a long way. There isn't a trainer out there that can give him everything. There just isn't those type of trainers anymore. I'm, I'm sorry, there isn't. Trainers now, for me, are almost broken into um, two different groups, right? And the reason I say that is because I saw a lot of people on Twitter after the fight saying, if he gets a trainer that can add this, 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 and I'm thinking, fuck me, where is that trainer? That trend doesn't exist anymore. I mean, if you're looking for Manny Stewart, unfortunately, and Manny Stewart doesn't exist. Trainers now almost broken into two different groups, an offensive trainer and a defensive trainer. Yes, they might cross over a little bit, but nine times out of 10, like Ben Davidson's a defensive trainer. Freddie Roach, an offensive trainer, right? It's just how it is. So um, look, can Tunde add a jab? Can Tunde add a bit of better foot movement? Can Tunde add sparring? I think so. I think he can. I think he can. And that's why I think for now, for now, he should stay with Tunde. If Tunde doesn't add those things in, the basic things for me, sparring, jab, and better foot movement, then yes, I think maybe he should find, I don't know, a new trainer. But for now, Tunde got him that far to the point where he was, again, an inch away from becoming WBO light heavyweight champion. I think it's unfair for Anthony Yard to jump ship now. And I'm all for people jumping ship with trainers. You know that's what I'm like. I said AJ should leave Rob McCracken. But for now, I think it's a good team. Not just because I think he can become a very good trainer, but I think he's good for Anthony Yard. It's more than just a fighter-trainer relationship. It looks a lot closer than that, and I think that's a good dynamic to have, right? Almost um, either very good friends or father-son relationship, and I think it's a very good dynamic they have. And I'd like to see the underdogs prevail, right? I mean, look, both of these guys weren't expected to win. Both of these guys weren't expected to do what they're doing. They're doing it. I mean, you can always run to the, the famous celebrity trainers, but I like this. I like this setup. I like this dynamic. I'm not a fan of his work, but if he can, again, push his ego aside and add in a few things, then why not stay? Why not stay? Um, I, I, I like the team. I like the setup and I, I wish them good luck. That said, he needs to improve on a few things. Again, if Tunde can't add those things, jump ship now. But give Tunde a chance to add them. Peace.